amazing colors here. Oh my goodness, beautiful. Five degrees this morning here at the ranch. People are starting to wake up. You sound revely right now. Revely, revely. Drop your socks and grab your. <laughs> this morning. Uh, the first ride out will be Jay Pet. He's going down to Salida and he's going to, from there, he's going up on uh, Rick Mountain. And that will be the, uh, it's a green ride, and that will be the only ride not in snow today. As you see, we do have snow down to about, oh, maybe 11.5 or 12,000 feet. And his ride will stay probably under, well, certainly under 11,000, maybe around 10,000 at the highest. So he's going to be in the green today. The next ride we have out is going to be Rick's, and that's going up towards Baldwin Lake, uh, which is on the back side of Mount Antero right there. <laughs> Mount Antero's got snow down to probably close to 11,000 feet. So his ride will be in snow. Bring your snowshoes. That's right. <laughs> yeah, and snow shovels. And snow shovels. Yeah. My ride is, uh, is an easy ride today. We're going to go north out of Buena Vista. We'll go up through the railroad tunnels on the east side of the river and we'll, uh, for quite a ways, then we'll cross a bridge, about five miles of highway, and we'll get up to the uh, uh, little town of Granite. And from there, we'll take gravel roads up the mountain on the south side of Twin Lakes, and we'll get up to about 12,500 feet. So we too will be in snow when we get up there into the alpine zone. Well, here we go, starting day one. The Granite View Ride. Haven't been on this trail yet. Should be a good one. The weather warmed up a little bit. It's probably about 45 degrees right now. Mike says that we're supposed to get some snow up here, get up to this higher elevation, to these mountains. downtown Buena Vista right here on our way to the Granite View Trail. We have to cut across town, across the Highway 24, and into the Main Street USA right here.
pit stop right here. We're checking the gear. All right, just counted 24 Jeeps on the trail with us today. Gonna be a good one. Twenty-four Jeeps. <laughs> Copy that. Thanks, Joe. Come on. saying that this is a elephant.
to soak it all in, looking at it, just trying to live the experience right here. With the Jeeps in there, exactly what we came here for. got the perfect timing on this this year. That's amazing. Did not disappoint right here. Uh, you picked good on the choice of the week. Yeah, for, really for sure. They're like fluorescent color here. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Hey, you match. You got the yellow on.
Cheese love the snow. <laughs> on the radio we're at 11,000 feet right now you can see up there tree line stops so we're right below it easy right right below the hard deck like 12.5 is where it stops growing all the trees so yeah we are right below the hard deck down there up here above the tree line 12,000 feet has some carb issues behind us but they're all rolling up right now <clears throat> David. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful up here. The two point oh Pino engine. Fits in there real nicely. Sounds really good too. It was a hundred dollars. Hundred dollars for that? Holy! What's that ugly thing? Dang! I love it. 
Wow, that's great. What's your name? Clyde. Clyde. Where are you from, Clyde? Uh, Eugene, Oregon. Eugene, Oregon. Whoa, pretty far. <laughs> Sweet. That's awesome. Uh, it would be all right. I think because you're on an angle. Yeah, it was like this. It just uh, it yeah. Uh, yeah. Cut out. If you Could, let up, if you let up on the gas, just quit. It's yeah. Quit. And you couldn't. You couldn't even shift gears. You uh, just quit. Yeah, yeah. So it's just. So you have to like hold the brake, hold the gas, hold the clutch, then it would start, and then just actually drive with the brake on until you let it off. <laughs> I feel your pain, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>